Greetings, beautiful earthlings. My name is Star, and I don't know how you found me, but I am super grateful that you did. And I wanted to do another cozy corner video with you guys today because, like I said, I have tons of stuff that I want to talk to you guys about. I just don't particularly want to do makeup all the time. So um, here you are joining me again on my big, cozy, messy bed. And I'm trying to do this super fast before my tiny human comes back in because she's very excited about the, the ring light being out. <laughs> but I actually did this um, quite a few weeks ago and I didn't tell you guys about it just yet, but I did let Amazon pick my next tarot decks. <laughs> I was actually going to buy all three of the decks that Amazon recommended to buy together, but I had kind of uh, buyer's remorse after buying the first one, and I really didn't know if I wanted to commit to buying all three and having three decks that I wasn't going to use. So I used the last couple of weeks to familiarize myself with this deck and figure out how to work with it before I committed to the idea of buying the other two. So Amazon knows all my secrets, right? Literally all my secrets, because at work I also have to look up items on Amazon for price matching and stuff like that. So Amazon knows all my business, literally all my business. So I was perusing my homepage of Amazon one day and right on the homepage said recommended for you was this little deck, the Gypsy Witch fortune telling playing card deck. And I saw it before, right? Because I am constantly looking through tarot decks on Amazon. And I've seen this before. I never gave it, you know, a second glance because I didn't know what it was. I didn't want to mess with it. Um, but Amazon recommended it to me. It wasn't too terribly expensive. It was like 10 bucks or something. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I should, right? I do not know how to read Lenormand cards. I do not know how to read um, playing cards. And I feel like it's very important as a tarot reader to get back to the roots of cardomancy, which is reading playing cards. So I was like, all right, let me do this. It's gonna be funny, you know, let's do this for kicks, you know, this little review of an Amazon chosen deck, right? So when I first got this deck, if you guys have never seen this deck, it's uh, it's like a little, like a Lenormand deck. Okay, it's a little deck, very small deck of playing cards essentially. So you've got what is it, fifty-two plus the jokers, and um, there is a very specific way that this deck is meant to be read. And in trying to learn to read this deck the way that it is meant to be read, I got very frustrated with it very frustrated with it and um i didn't research how to read lenormand i didn't research how to read playing cards i just wanted to know how this deck was meant to be read in reading the little pamphlet that came with it it was absolute zero help right apparently this is also a u.s game systems deck which is probably why it was recommended to me because i buy so many rider weights but um I couldn't figure that out. So I looked up some videos and the more videos I watched, the more confused I became because there are some signifier cards in here. There's a man and a woman signifier, right? And you're supposed to lay out a whole spread of like nine to 15 cards around the signifier and read the little fortunes on them and use the pictures in context with that. And it just didn't make any sense to me because there are some foreboding messages on this, but there aren't too many good messages on these cards. And it was really frustrating me. I was like, I don't want to read like that. I don't want to read for other people like that because I don't want people thinking that's what tarot is, right? So I let it, I let it be for a little bit. I let it simmer and I readdressed it. And I was like, let me look at this deck in a different light because I had a friend come up to me with a little deck of playing cards the other day and he was asking me how to shuffle. So I was, you know, shuffling and it made me realize I don't have a deck of playing cards. Ding, little light went off in my head. I do have a deck of playing cards because one of the people whose videos I had watched about how to read this deck said that they read this deck in multiple ways. Sometimes, like she said, she will just carry this deck around as a deck of playing cards because it has the playing card imagery on here, right? If you ignore the rest of everything, there's playing cards on here. It's a full deck of playing cards with four jokers in it. Um, yes, it has four jokers instead of two. Anyways. I was like, technically I do have a deck of playing cards. So I sat here shuffling through it and I thought to myself, 
What if I could learn to read with playing cards? Would that make this deck a little bit easier for me to bond with? So I looked up videos on how to read with this, with uh, playing cards as tarot cards, right? And it turns out my intuition about how to read them was actually a thousand percent correct. Very easy, right? Your hearts are cups. Your spades, spades, duh, they're, they're swords. Your um, clubs, hello, what do clubs sound like? Clubs, wood, wands. And your diamonds, diamonds are forever, right? Diamonds, monies, pentacles. So very easy. And then you just don't have majors. You have all 10 cards of your minors. And then you've got what your, your jack, your king, your queen, which essentially knight, king, queen, not too hard to deal with. And um, they do say specifically in reading playing cards, you're supposed to use the face cards as actual people, as signifiers. I don't like that. I'm going to read them as tarot cards. Um, so you just basically would read this as a deck of cards without your majors, which is very interesting to me because I have decks of cards which are exclusively majors, like the White Witch Tarot exclusively majors. I love using those and getting clarifiers on them. Um, so to have a deck that is the exact opposite of that, which is just minors, um, is pretty crazy because essentially in tarot reading, you think about it, your majors are supposed to be destined, right? Those are messages about archetypes from the universe. Those are destined messages, destined paths, things like that. Your minors are meant to be read as free will. So to have literally a deck of cards that is entirely based off of free will and um, reading the energy of the person specifically, it, it makes sense. And like I said, I wanted to get back to the roots of cardomancy because I feel kind of like an imposter being this, you know, tarot reader and studying tarot every which way up and down different systems of reading tarot and i've been too scared literally that's it just too scared to even approach lenormand decks or playing card reading um kind of lost my train of thought but essentially what i was saying was i was trying to figure out a way to work with this deck so now that i learned to read playing cards okay I started playing with this deck to try to figure out how I can read with it because there's so much going on on these cards, right? I do not like these little messages. I don't. Um, because they are, if you guys have ever read with these types of cards, they say either near or far because they are talking about their position in accordance with the signifier card. So me not using a signifier card or the layout itself, that pretty much makes this null, right? Um, but if you're reading this as, say, the Seven of Pentacles, and then you're also taking into account the fire, it does have a little bit of added meaning. So what I really like about these cards now that I've started playing with them is that it it's really testing my knowledge of the card imagery. And what I've noticed is when I look at this and I think seven of pentacles, I have to stop and think about what does the seven of pentacles look like in the Rider weight deck. And my brain also shows me what it looks like in the Lightseer's deck, just because again, right now that's the deck that I'm bonding with. So um, it's kind of testing my knowledge of not only what that card looks like, but also what it means at its core. I'm not reading these reverse at the moment because I'm just trying to learn to work with them, but to have like the seven of pentacles pop out and then to also see the fire, you can also take into account the number if it means anything to the person, right? Because there's numbers on these as like Lenormand cards. And then you could say flames on the hearth indicate good fortune and neutralizes the evil of near. Um, anyways, you can just say Flames on the hearth indicate good fortune. So you can take that in accordance, in, in, you can take that into account with the Seven of Pentacles itself, right? Things that you, you put out, seeds that you have sown are finally coming to fruition. You're just kind of taking a rest, watching things grow, and um, it does indicate good fortune in the things that are coming um, that you have worked so hard to lay the foundation for, right? Things like that. So... 
I am actually really glad that Amazon recommended this to me, not only because apparently this deck is very old, um, I was looking through the reviews of it and tons of people were talking about how nostalgic this was for them, that they had these as a kid, uh, that they remember their mom having them or their grandma having them, or this is the first deck they learned on, things like that. Um, it, it makes me feel more connected to the roots of tarot and cardamancy as a reader and it has a different type of energy to it um, as opposed to the Rider Waite Smith or the Toth or even the Marcy Marseille sorry I'm, I know I'm saying that wrong um, but it just has such different energy because it is so old and it is just what people learned on I feel like it has um, like ancient tree energy to it, you know, like ancient tree in the forest type of energy. And I really love it. I'm really digging it a whole lot. Um, I don't think it's going to be something that I, you know, um, actually do readings with for people. I think it's just a fun skill to have. It's a fun thing to know. It's a fun thing to have on hand. And I feel like this is something I would throw in my bag just honestly as like a little party trick. Um, I, like I said, I don't think I would read with this seriously, but it's, it's cool. It's pretty, pretty imagery on the back, right? It's a little, little witch cooking with her little cat under the moon. And you know, it's, it's cool. It's just, cool it's a cool prop um i feel like me personally as a new age reader i can't see myself really using this um you know with tarot cards or with oracle cards in a reading i can't see myself actually using this um but it's cool it's just a cool thing to have it's a cool thing to throw in your bag um it's a cool thing to like take to your friends and show Look at this, look at this neat trick I learned. Like, let me show you this neat trick. And it's very quick and easy to learn if you already know your tarot. I think that it helps me out substantially that I already have a very good relationship with tarot. I have a good knowledge of tarot itself. I feel like if I was just learning tarot or I didn't know tarot and I tried to learn this, it would be pretty damn impossible. So I feel like if you guys have never seen this deck or this type of deck um, and you know your tarot really well, try it. I, I don't think it's going to hurt any. I don't think it's going to benefit you any, but I think it's fun. I think it's cool. Um, so I might very well check out those other decks that Amazon um, recommended to me if I can find the picture and I can remember in editing I will pop it in here to show you the the recommended picture it showed me all three of them they're just little magic shop type decks right nothing too crazy nothing too expensive and that's what i really liked about it because amazon does time and time again give me these really expensive 80 dollars oracle cards in my recommendations right and i'm like they're pretty thank you i'm never gonna buy those but cool to look at i guess and know that they exist so this was that. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too discombobulated. Like, I hope I can figure that out in editing because, um, my, <laughs> my tiny human just really gets a kick out of me doing videos now that, now that she is more cognitively aware of what it is I am doing. So she be in here all the time, right? <laughs> trying to see what mommy's doing, trying to get her hands in my Kool-Aid. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. I will pop in the uh, link to where you can, the link to where you can get this uh, deck on Amazon in the description box. <laughs> Again, <laughs> no promises about sticking the picture in there. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that because I didn't even do it yesterday. <laughs> I completely forgot. But I do actually have to put some effort into stitching this video together, so I might. So again, um, Thank you for watching this. Thank you for making it to the end. If you did, please give me a big old thumbs up. You know, that helps me out so very much. And don't forget to check out my link tree in the description box. You know, you can find all of my socials, my Etsy shop, everything. Go hang out with me on TikTok. It's a great time. And let me know if you guys have this deck, if you love this deck, if you want this deck. Did you learn on this deck? Have you heard of this deck? <laughs> and what do you guys think about me learning to do like Lenormand or other types of, you know, off the wall cards that I don't know how to read with yet? Um, I have really been interested in it. I just, just didn't for literally no reason. So, um, I, 
that's what I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it and I really hope that wherever you are when this video reaches you my friends you have a beautiful wonderful day and don't forget to go follow me on TikTok. It's a great time. I'm actually starting to do more readings over there because I just want to get back to the basics of reading man. I just want to be doing readings all the time. So <laughs> go ahead over there. If you haven't already, what are you doing? Go ahead over there. You don't even have to post content on TikTok to go follow me on TikTok, okay? Cool, see you there. And I cannot wait to see you guys in the next one. Namaste.